my name is Mubin Solkar and I'm a lawyer by profession. Uh, before I put in my question, I must say, sir, that I'm really impressed by your knowledge of Hindu scriptures. It's really amazing. My question to you is that you've said that there are so many similarities between Islam and Hinduism. Does that mean that according to Islam, a person can be a Hindu? The brother asked a very critical question that since I've pointed so many similarities between Islam and Hinduism, does it mean that according to Islam, a person can be a Hindu? Brother, if by the term Hindu you mean a geographical definition, a person who lives in India, then according to Islam there is no problem in a person being an Indian. I am an Indian and I am a practicing Muslim. I am proud of my country India and I am proud to be a Muslim. So no problem in Islam if you are an Indian and practicing Islam. But if you mean by the term Hindu, a person who follows the religious scriptures of Hinduism, then I have got no objection as long as that Hindu strictly follows the established truths of the scriptures of Hinduism. What do I mean by established truth? Established truth means those truths mentioned in the Hindu scriptures which have been reconfirmed by the last and final revelation of God, that is the glorious Quran. And I am referring to Vedas and the Quran which I talked in my lecture. Both of them they believe that there is one God. They believe in the messengers. They believe the last messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They believe in the hereafter. If they believe in all these established facts, I have got no objection. But if you tell me, no, a Hindu is a person who believes in everything what is mentioned in the scriptures, then I being a student of compared religion, I don't agree. Why? It's not possible for a Hindu to believe in all the teachings in the Hindu scriptures because many a time the teachings of different scriptures of Hinduism, they contradict. Many a time the same scriptures, Rigved, they contradict themselves, Manu Smith, they contradict themselves. For example, one place it says that you should not have spoke, one place it says that you should have spoke. So person cannot follow contradicting statements simultaneously. So what we have to realize, that even in the Hindu scripture certain things that are unethical, as spoken by the great reformers, they believe in caste system, which Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Justice Ryan spoke against, they spoke against the Sati system, that the wife should burn in the funeral pyre of the husband. So these things a person cannot follow. That's the reason I say that as long as the Hindu follows the established fact and also agrees that there is one last Rishi, Antim Rishi. When Buddha came and he tried to purify Hinduism of the superstition, many people went against him. Then how come he is coming to purify the Vedas? Later on they agreed that he was the 23rd of the 24 avatars. They even agree that he was the 9th avatar of Vishnu. Similarly, when you read the scripture, it talks about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the 24th avatar. He is the 10th avatar of Vishnu. He is the Antim Rishi. So if the Hindu believes in the established facts, believes in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the messenger of God, believes in one God, believes in the hereafter, there is no problem in him being a Hindu. My name is Harris. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona in the United States. I'm an entrepreneur and a marketing manager. Two of my friends in America have converted uh, watching YouTube videos of you. Uh, one of them a Christian, one of them an atheist. 